Meaning someone who can assess probability, it's reasonable to think that the volume of that pyramid was picked because of its numerous possibilities to reveal through it the golden number. Out of Egyptology's framework, Jean-Luc Lant told me this. I think that ancient Egyptians were aware of the golden number. They couldn't have come across the resolution each time, especially this perfect one. They had to possess that knowledge. It's not in their culture to divulge it. They kept it secret, and the best way to keep a secret is not to convey it anywhere. But why a secret? I didn't quite get my informant's answer. It's no secret, it's simply closed. Geometry, which is the sensible part of mathematics, is a language, and so are mathematics. Hanging out with architects made me discover that we often spot the golden number in our past architecture. For example, in Greece, the Parthenon was built on a golden number-based geometry. Then the cathedrals on which so much things have been said. We built 200 of them over 250 years, but no construction plan nor indications were left. Startling parallel with the pyramids and over antiquities buildings. And by studying them, some would discover amazing things, like this circle indicating precisely the sun position on the horizon during the equinoctial days. New coincidence, even cathedrals were indicating equinoxes, like ancient constructions. Then, this architect showed me that the Great Pyramid's actual profile was featured on the façade of the